I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is the third part, but I want to add this part because uh, if you watch the uh, first two uh, parts to this long episode, um, what I'm trying to lean at or guide my audience to is that the capacity to produce one of these digital coins. Is 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 um is able to happen through the anatomy of one's own uh, structure through the study of your own genetics and learning uh, that you have the neural uh, pathways to cause this uh, ingenuity, you know, and it's mostly by, like I said, exercising the brain. Imagination is key, um, but even that needs training. There is a. Uh, there is people who know how to. I'm certainly one of those that know how to meditate while being operational. There are people who can get to a meditative state, or even zone like a zoning out or daydreaming or something like that. But they're not functional. I've learned to get to the point. Of getting to those uh, zoning out levels where you're just like, you know, like stuck. I've learned to be in those uh, high frequencies while being functional and operational. People don't really know I'm zoning out, but man, am I zoning? And. Uh, what, what that did was allow me to be ahead of people, um, training the brain, not just the body, you know, the body too, but there's a quote that I like to go by that I say to myself, and I say, uh, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. If you like exercising to function your body, uh, you must exercise your brain as well. And usually it comes from reading a lot, you know, doing word puzzles, you know, exercise the brain. Look for ways to, like, improve it. You know, you can't touch it, right? Like, how do you exercise the brain? And that comes with uh, being able to deal with a lot of pressure, strain, um, wanting to stress your brain, wanting to learn, wanting to put the work in. Um, it's a switch, man. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes years, years. Uh, but the sooner you learn, the better. Because if you wait, if you wait too long, it'll be too late. And you won't, you won't learn as much, you know. You'll be still behind. Um, so, yeah. So what I'm saying is that <sighs> we have the capacity to form, relate, fire, fly, you know, levitate, uh, telekinesis, telepathy. It's just we're relying on gadgets, all the tech. Now, telepathy is the ability to communicate without uh, without using your mouth or something. It's all in the head. The phone was there to assist us in that. Now we're talking to people on another side of the planet or somewhere around wherever we're calling, but it's large distances. This is a form of telepathy, only 
you're at the comfort of your home and you're using a cell phone to facilitate that and nonetheless you're still using your your words your mouth and it was only meant to train us to do it without using our mouth and the device but our brain how do you think aliens do it why do you think I say I'm an alien it's because aliens don't need to communicate with their mouth they get in your head and suddenly you start hearing these words like someone is speaking to you and they're just speaking to you inside their head they connect to your brain and have a conversation with you like this well you know they don't make the gestures and face expressions but you won't even see their face move like is still and yet you're listening and conversating with them if you don't know how you're doing it it's because they overrided you, your brain and took over it um, so a lot of these gadgets these texts overrided your brain and I'm the alien who didn't allow that to happen because I said wait a minute I could do the same so I started overriding people's brains because that's I used the tech to assist me to becoming better not to be handicapped anyway that's that's the that's the last part I, I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say which I'm pretty sure you do so uh subscribe and wait for more goodies to come out you know, through my um, necessary, uh, I would say jargon, but it's not really jargon, man, because I'm really throwing some sustenance and nourishing a lot of, uh, why? Because, um, why not, you know, I saw, I saw the opportunity to speak to the galaxies and outer space and people that I would never meet <laughs> or aliens I would never probably see or planets, you know. And I said, hey, let me send this message to you and say, what up? I'm here and I'm coming to your world to be a dominant force. Yep. Now, before I end this, I want to let everybody know, and it's going to be a happy note, but uh, I guess I should say this. I'm ready to die for mine. I put my life on the line, all on the table. I got nothing to worry about. Now, you know what I offer. What do you offer to the table? LZ out. That's that, that, with all of that.